Oh Inhe was born on January 4th, 1984. She was a South Korean actress, model, and YouTuber. Sadly, Ine left this world on September 14th, 2020, when a friend came to check in on her and found her unconscious and unresponsive at her home. Despite doctors being able to briefly revive her, Ine passed away shortly after. Her cause of death was officially due to cardiac arrest, and no official documentation stated that there was any foul play involved. However, shortly after her passing, fans began to form their own theories, just as the internet does. But these theories, whether true or false, mostly stem from Ine's final YouTube video, where people began noticing strange and unusual things that normally wouldn't be in her vlogs. And it made people start to question, what if Ine knew that her life would soon come to an end? What if she tried to tell us something? <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another tragic video on my terrible channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Korean actress Oh in -hye. Along with her final and cryptic YouTube video that was posted to her channel just days before her passing. As always, before we start, if you guys enjoy these videos, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, it really helps me out. Now without further ado, let's get started. Before we talk about Ine's passing, we need to go back to the source and talk about her life. Oh Ine was a beautiful and talented actress who started her acting career in 2011. But it was later that same year where she would truly rise to fame, but not for the reasons that she wanted. During the 16th Busan International Film Festival, Ine wore a stunning yet revealing orange dress. This caused major controversy for Ine not only from fans, but also from her own peers in the film industry. And while it's not proven, it's said that this controversy led to her eventual blacklisting from the industry. With South Korea being a pretty conservative country, it's not too surprising people would cause a scene over this. But blacklisting her, stopping her from getting roles, essentially ruining her career? That's just too much. This girl had such a bright future and she has to lose it all just for being confident? But to play devil's advocate, some people probably thought that her attire was disrespectful or shameful even, considering the conservative nature of South Korea. But I guess it's perfectly fine for K-pop stars to have a hot and mature look. Korea can be really goofy at times and unfortunately this is a perfect example. Despite Ine's orange dress controversy, she still tried her best to land film roles and advance her career. Sadly, despite her talents, she was usually only offered femme fatale roles due to her being typecast for her looks. It would go on like this until 2014, when Ine would stop appearing in films permanently. In 2019, Ine started a YouTube channel where she would vlog her lifestyle, nightly routines, skincare, and more. It was a really sweet and fun type of content. Each video was labeled after the next, with a number following each title, such as episodes 35, 36, and so on. However, Ine's last video was labeled episode 48, which some people found odd because the video prior to that was episode 45, meaning that this video should have been episode 46, not 48. Now, most people can overlook something so minor as numbering a video improperly. That wasn't the issue. It was the numerous other oddities that fans found afterwards, most of them being brought to light because of this final video. At first look, Ine's last video seems pretty normal. It's a simple vlog where she speaks casually and does one of her get ready with me routines. As we've already pointed out, the misnumbering of the video was a minor error. It's what transpires around the 48 second mark that really got people's attention. Around this time, a strange video glitch starts occurring, and although the audio remains consistent and normal, the video begins buffering, but glitches on several repeating frames over and over again for almost a full minute. Now, it would be one thing if the video started glitching somewhere else, but during these repeating frames, it becomes clear how people could interpret it as having meaning, especially given the movement of the comb coming closer to her neck as she brushes her hair. It's also important to note that Ine was known to edit her own videos, meaning she would be well aware of something like this happening while editing and then uploading it to YouTube. She did say in the video title to please ignore the buffering part, but regardless, if she knew about it, why leave it in 
unless she was trying to tell us something. The number 48 is a recurring symbol in this string of oddities. The episode number for the video was 48. The glitch begins almost exactly at 48 seconds and ends almost at 1 minute 48 seconds. Fans even noted that the clock in the video, although mirrored because of the way it was recorded, showed the time to be 8.30, which means the hands would be on 8 and 6. 8 multiplied by 6 is 48. In the previous video that Ine uploaded, the numbers 4 and 8 are repeated many times in the subtitles around the 4 minute and 8 mark. But due to what she was talking about in the video, it's possible that those numbers were part of the topic. Aside from all this, Ine was found dead 48 hours after the video was published. Some fans even went so far as to connect the number 48 with her birth year being born in 1984, as well as her weight being 48 kilograms. But maybe this is all just coincidence. Or is it? I tried looking up the significance of the number 48. At first, I didn't get much. But then, I started finding websites that seemed to have some type of meaning prescribed to the number 48. One of them was sunsigns.org. Angel number 48, by frequently appearing in your life, indicates that the guardian angels are signaling to you that a sequence of events is facing a closure shortly. It is also a message that you will be amply compensated for all the honest efforts you have put in. The termination of succession of events will open up a plethora of fresh openings and prospects in life. There is no need for any apprehension about material loss. Now I noticed that it called the number 48 an angel number, and I looked that up as well. This is what I found. Angel numbers are part of numerology readings. Numerology is a form of prediction that has been practiced for thousands of years. Your professional life can be calculated as well as your destiny and personality. Life circumstances can be predicted as well. So it seems that numerology is sort of similar to astrology, but instead of signs, it uses numbers to represent meanings. Now, whether Ine was into numerology or not, and whether or not this correlates to the meaning of 48 is anyone's guess. But it's fascinating that people can deduce so much from so little. Ine's final post on her Instagram made a lot of her fans curious, and more so, worried. Another YouTuber named Grazy TV. I actually met her at KCON once, she's really cool. She also covered this topic, and I think she summarizes it pretty well. But this diverges into the theory where Ine didn't take her own life, but someone else did. The day before her passing, the actress also put a cryptic message on her Instagram and tagging a man who was later found out to be a lawyer. Now in this IG post caption, I really couldn't get what she was exactly saying because there was a lot of errors in this caption, almost like you can't really understand what she's saying, almost like a cryptic message only she knows. But the translation I could give was, everything is my fault, I don't like blaming others, it's hard to give my heart to someone, I'm not drunk, my phone is not working properly. You're watching this, right? A person that called me just a piece of body, asking me to forgive with just an I love you. This is criminal. I'll show you and get you in trouble. We don't know how this person is related to her, the person that tagged her. I mean, could it be that she was dating this person? Someone that tried to hurt her? She was trying to reveal some information about someone and something happened to her just shortly after? We don't know. But as of right now, the police did not include this person as a suspect. There's absolutely no information, no proof that this person was even related to her. The lawyer would go on to delete all of his social media shortly after, and when Ine's fans began commenting more about the meaning of the post, she deleted it one hour after. Despite police not considering him a suspect because no proof was found that the two knew each other, I would have still liked to hear confirmation that the police or media interviewed him and got his side of things. Because while it's still not clear what the meaning of the post was, the overall weight that it carried can only make us wonder. At the end of the day, we have to remember that this is all speculation. We didn't know Oine, and we certainly didn't know what was going on in her life. But no matter what the truth is, we should still pay our respects to her, not just as an actress, but as a person. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.